All right, TJ, you want to say hi? Hi, everybody. Uh, I am TJ, and I'm 21 months post-op. I've lost 109 pounds since. Yeah. It's my MGB, and I float five pounds, so I always report the, the bottom of the float. <laughs> and <laughs> that would be 150 pounds that I currently weigh. The um, MGB took 18 minutes for me. I woke up with one burning, stabbing pain in my belly, and before I could complain, finish the sentence, uh, they had taken care of it. And then I didn't have any more pain. I had absolute minimal pain from my MGB. I did have tremendous bruising because I'm a bleeder, and I got the stab five times in your belly story. And um, it actually took 16 months for that to fade. And the reason that I tell pre-ops that is so that you don't panic if you bruise. It doesn't affect how much you lose or eventually it will go away. So if you end up with that cloud under the skin that looks like an old bruise, that's exactly what it is. It's an old bruise and it takes a while to reabsorb. Um, the MGB for me worked a little slower than the average. A little slower. <laughs> Every other month. Hi, TJ, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> At 18 months, I had lost 92 pounds. Wow. And um, I wasn't a happy camper, but I wasn't dissatisfied. I just felt like I was that one. We all fear being that one. And um, 92 pounds is a lot of weight. And I was a size 12. And I felt good. And I could wear my kicks. <coughs> so I wasn't complaining. But when I got the flu between Christmas and New Year's, and got the final drop to a size 8, I was really happy! <laughs> <laughs> we need help from the uh, Chinese flu. Yeah, I got the flu! I also moved, though, during that period of time. I was moving with a airline bag, and um, it may have been all that extra exercise, too. I don't know what it was, but I'll take it. The um, biggest problem, I'd say, that I had was psychological, in that I had been a starvation dieter for about a decade before surgery. I had literally slowed my metabolism down to where it just wasn't even walking with me most days. And consequently, I had a lot of food guilt when I was supposed to start eating again. And that was hard for me. That took about 10 months to resolve. And I did get some counseling, as we all promised Dr. Rutledge that we will do if we need it. And eventually, I was able to accept my right to eat my right to stand right here in this space on the earth and be me. It took some doing. And please don't be afraid to seek help if you have problems after surgery, accepting yourself, accepting your meals, anything, anything psychological or emotional. Take care of it because it can hamper you. It can hamper you not just in weight loss, which is real important because of our health and because of our vanity, but it can also hamper you in your self-love and acceptance of yourself. And that's a very important part of who we are. Um, the other thing that I always like to share, the other forbidden subject that I always like to share with pre-ops is my age. I will be 60 in July. And I share that for a couple of reasons. One is because I ain't ugly. And we all go into this thinking that we're going to come out with sags and bags of skin. It's not necessarily true. And I think that at my age, with as much weight as I've lost, <coughs> it does demonstrate that we don't have to be saggy baggy. You look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You want to see my belly? Yeah. It's saggy baggy. Yeah. No, but that's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. And I don't know if you can still see them or not. Uh, the little scars you can just There's barely. Barely. Yeah, barely. Yeah, barely. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the little... There's the footprints. I have ribs. I yeah. like them. <laughs> I have collarbones. I love them. <laughs> I dust them with shiny stuff. <laughs> and um, for exercise, I dance a lot and ignore the rules. Because I don't, I don't like the equipment in the gym, so I very rarely use it. And the equipment in the garage, I like the pool table. Um, but I'm really bad about exercise. And consequently, I have probably more flab than I have to have, but it's my flab and I like it, and I spent 60 years getting it, so there. <laughs> <laughs> you look wonderful.
wonderful. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Good. Good luck.